Hi friends, after a one week gap, we are back with another quick tip video brought to you by dataplatformcentral.com. In this edition of quick tip video, we are going to look into one of the recent interesting features that has come in Power BI, which is known as Power Automate Visuals. Power Automation is a workflow automation tool which can be used for automating many common tasks. So as a part of this quick tip, we'll see how the Power Automation Visual can be used inside Power BI to utilize the workflow automation inside Power BI Visuals. We'll also see another integration feature within Power BI which helps us to integrate with Power Automate and execute a flow in response to a data alert event. So let's go straight into the first scenario and look how we can use Power Automate Visual inside Power BI. Now let's look at a report which is hosted inside Power BI service. This report consists of a form which is used for entering staff ratings. And there is also a button on top which has the functionality of notifying the staffs. So if you see the functionality used here, the staff ratings form is implemented by using a Power Apps Visual. Through this, the user will be able to enter a bonus amount and a rating for each of the staffs who are currently working in that particular organization. Once this particular information is entered into the form, then he can click on the notify staff button on top and this is where the power automate feature comes into play. So the notify staff button is actually a power automate visual which is used inside this particular Power BI report. When we click on this notify staff, the power automate logic which is written on the backend will get called and there we will have the corresponding functionality to send the email notification to the corresponding staffs. So let's see how this report works in action by changing or entering few details. So we can go and change the bonus amount for a particular employee and change the rating as well and maybe we can also include a new entry for another employee. So each one of these changes that we are doing here will be saved back to the database. So through this Power Apps form, the data that we are sending will get saved to the database on the backend. And in this case, the database is a on-premise system which is connected to the Power BI service through a data gateway. Now that we have done these changes, let's go back and check the database to see the changed data. Now if you run this query and check the data in the background, we can see the changes that we have done currently. Like we have entered the new uh, rating of 4 for Janice Serrano and a bonus value. And similarly, we have changed the bonus value of Janet. David. So this data has now been updated in the database through the Power Automate form. Now if you go back and click on the Notify Staff button through the Power Automate Visual, email notifications will be sent to the, each of these employees to indicate that their uh, bonus and the rating data has been modified. So let's see how we can do that. So now we are back into the report, we can click on the Notify button on top. So when you click on Notify button, you can see that the triggering status is being shown and now the Power Automate job is triggered and it has came back to the previous state which means that currently the Power Automate job will be executing on the background. Now if you go and check the email address where we have set these emails to come, in, the, in this case I have set it to a test email of myself. So I should get all the four uh, email addresses uh, depending on the number of employees I have set the corresponding uh, bonus and the rating. All this information will be notified to each one of those employees. In the actual case, we'll be setting it to their actual email so that they get the notifications accordingly. So let's now go and check the email. As you see now, all the email notifications have come in my email because I have pointed all of this to my test email. You can see that for each one of the emails, it automatically takes the details from the particular Power BI visual, like the name of the employee, like dear Bernard in Houston, dear Kali Vargas. So the names of these employees are taken from the Power BI visual itself. So basically the Power BI data gets flown to the Power Automate visual and through that, when it uh, sends the email address, it will automatically generate the dynamic uh, content based on the data which is coming from Power BI and it is iterating for each of the employees whose uh, bonus was or rating was changed. So you can see four emails, one for each employee. 
so this is how the power automate automatically sends the email notification based on the button click action of power bi visual now let's go in the back end and see the functionality how we implemented this inside power automate to see the code behind let's go back to the report and click edit to go into the edit mode and then means you click on the power automate visual you can see in that options an option to edit click on edit this will take you to the power automate canvas click on the power automate button to go inside the canvas properties in that it will automatically show you the flow which is connected to the particular visual that we have clicked from power bi so in this case the flow that is used is this apply to each send email this flow is the uh, one which gets executed when we click on that button which is inside the power bi now when you click on this you can go inside the definition of the flow and you can see the function functionalities which are included inside click on edit button and you can see what is the actual logic written inside the flow so in this case we have on power bi button clicked which is the default action that is placed by the power bi visual and inside that we have two steps so the first step i am adding is a refresher data set this is just to make sure that the latest changes that we did from within the power bi data set is picked up by the automate now if you click the details of that double click on it and it will open with the details you can see that we are passing the name of the workspace and the name of the data set that needs to be refreshed so in this case we are refreshing the data set which is set by the power apps visual so that whatever changes that has been done from the power apps should be picked up while we are running this automate flow and then we have that email notification step which has a wrapper applied to each this is for iterating through each emails which are coming from the power bi visual so it will iterate through each of them and uh, this uh, corresponds to the power bi data set which is passed in from the power bi this is the integration data set which gets passed from power bi to power bi automated and it will iterate through each row of this data set so that we send separate mails for each employees and then we have a send an email notification step inside and if you see that the full content of this email is dynamic the two will be coming from uh, power bi data set we have an email set inside that that email uh, field will have the email address of the uh, employee to which the notification has to be sent in this case i am just setting it to my own email just for this illustration but in the actual case it will point to the actual emails of your employees and inside that if you see the content also the part of the content are coming from dynamic uh, power bi fields like from dear we are setting the first name and last name which are coming from the data set then you the revised rating is coming from the data set the bonus is taken rating from the data set so all these fields are passed to the power automate visual from within the power bi so if you go back to the power bi report you can see that when you click on that you can see that all these fields are passed inside that particular visual just like you pass it to any of the power bi visuals and these fields will be accessed inside the flow while you are creating the dynamic content for the email so this is how you create a power automate uh, visual inside power bi and then add a flow to it in this case it's a very simple flow we are just refreshing the data set once and we are sending some email notifications but you can do many other things like you can uh, like add some sms notification maybe add some data to a sharepoint maybe add some data to excel there are so many things which can be done from inside power automate you can go through each of the functionalities which is available inside power automate i'm not going to discuss it here because we are just showing one simple illustration of how the integration between power bi and power automate can be done but in the actual case there are n number of use cases for this you can use and similarly the other part the actual form part is actually an integration between power bi and power apps but because this video is more on to power automate i'm not going to explain this in detail i hope uh, most people will be knowing how to do power app, bi power apps integration because it has been there for a while this uh, power automate uh, integration was one of the new features but just in case anyone wants a uh, detail of how to do a power bi to power apps uh, integration you can uh, specify it in the comments and uh, definitely if there are enough people i will try to put a video for that integration as well that's also quite easy just like uh, because the integration between all these power platforms now have been very seamless microsoft has 
taken enough steps to ensure that you have a seamless integration among all these tools so that you can utilize them uh, for many real-time use cases like what we are seeing now so now we have seen the one of the main aspects of power bi power automate integration which is how we can use the power automate visual inside power bi for performing such easier power automation workflows just like notifying mechanism now let's see the other aspect of this integration like how we can utilize the integration with data alert to send email notifications whenever data gets changed inside your report or inside your dashboard to your set of uh, customized users for seeing this in action let's first go and add a new row of data to one of our measure tables called sales order items so now that the data is added let's go and refresh our data set and see how this data changes inside our kpi visual and since we already have a data alert associated with this kpi visual the data alert will also get triggered and we already have an automate flow attached to this data alert which will be triggered and sending the email notification to the required employees so let's see this in action now we have refresh the data set now let's go back and check the data dashboard to see if the data is changed so that the data is now changed and you can see that notification which says that there is a data alert that is getting triggered so the data alert is now got triggered now as a part of this if you go and check the email we would have got an email which will be sent out by the power automate flow functionality which you have written on the background so as you see we have a revised revenue uh, data which is uh, sent by the power automate visual and this is actually sent as a part of the data alert this power automate flow is linked to the data alert so whenever the data alert gets triggered automatically the power automate flow will also get triggered and whatever functionality that we have written inside the flow will be executed so let's go and check what is the functionality that you have written inside that power automate so let's go to the visual and click on manage alerts to go to the data alerts and there is a portion which shows on the bottom like use power automate to trigger additional actions so this is what we have used in this case so if you click on that and go inside the power apps you can see the flow for that so go to my flows and you can see this is the one that we saw in the last case so in the current case we have another flow here which says trigger a flow with the power bi data driven alert this is the flow that gets executed then the data alert gets fired when you click on that it's a very very simple flow all it is doing is like if you go to the edit inside that you can see that all it contains is a when a data driven alert is triggered which is the default action that happens from the power bi we have a simple send a mail notification where we are setting a dynamic content just like in the previous case and we are sending it to a particular email address and that's the email address to which you get that alert so this is how we can make use of the power automate flow to extend the functionality associated with the data alert to send uh, email notification to custom number of employees this is again a simple functionality but in addition if you want to have additional things like uh, storing the data inside an excel sheet or posting the data to a, a teams uh, um, a group all these things can be done from within your power automate flow so this is another example of a use case where power bi power automate integration comes handy hope this quick illustration helped you to understand how you can integrate power bi with uh, power automate for performing such simple flow automations the two use cases that we discussed here are commonly used use cases in many real-time projects but as i told you can still extend the functionality to add more functionalities to your flow so as to get more comprehensive features as a part of this integration hope you found this video useful as usual keep sending your feedback and subscribe to my channel for getting such useful tips in future and click on the bell icon to get notifications. See you all soon with another useful tip. Thanks and bye.